Hey, this is Mass X with a new Bleach Immortal Souls video. I did one on Omni Shards, kind of rushed through it, missed a couple things. I hope you saw the updates I put in there in the community section, plus all of you for helping out and adding in your input, which is much appreciated to help out people so they can maximize their Omni Shards. But today we're going with the other half, and that is Awaken Essence. Omni Shards and Awaken Essence are the two items that you should always be searching out for when you can, any way possible, be it free to play, minor spender, etc. With that being said, let's talk about Awaken Essence. So, where do you go? Let's go take a look at the shop first. In the Friendship Shop, for 3,000 Friendship Points, you can get an Awaken Essence. Great for free to play players. Actually great for everybody because you're acquiring them daily if you've maximized your friends and you're going online daily and doing your dailies and catching those in. Great way to get those right there. Um, also, I believe it's here. This, the Serenity Challenge Shop. As you can see, once a month it resets and for 24,000 of those coins you get five Awaken Essence. And for 14,400, you get three more. Again, a great means to an end for anybody because if you're doing your dailies, you're acquiring these, and boom, you get those each month. So that's eight more that you can get a month, which is awesome, which I love. Next up, um, we can also talk about um, real quickly before I move on this ready challenge itself. On level two and level three, there's always a shop there. In that shop, always has four discounted items. It's usually Omni Shards or Gold or Awaken Essence, um, more often than not. If you're not a spender, great, disregard it. If you do spend a little though, they're always discounted, 10, 15, sometimes 20%. A great way to pick them up and a great way to pick them up a little cheaper, which is always nice too, because they have that discount built in all the time. Let's go ahead and um, under the summons, of course, the obvious one, under your gotchas, if you're doing your free one each day, once you go through um, 10 pulls, you get a free one. And if you pull 10, you are guaranteed an Awaken Essence. So that's also something, even if you're free to play, Hit that free one every day because you're going to get one um, every every 10 pushes on that. As well as as you're acquiring your guilds exchange points, they have Awaken Essence in there for 24 tickets. Another great place to go to get them. Highly recommend it. Um, and again, if, if, you, if you're a, a pl player that um, pays, you know, there are the options of the recharge shop, of course. The daily pack, I think, is $4.99 for four with some gold. Um, there's a monthly pack that's $99.99 for 20, but you also get um, a bunch of oh, the gear exchange as well. Um, tickets, I believe it's $240, might be more, as well as you get Soul Jades. Not one I highly recommend, but if you're gonna spend, if you're gonna buy Soul Jades, okay, say you're gonna suck it up and do it. Before you buy it, don't go to recharge. Go in, I mean, go to recharge, but don't go to the monthly because all those monthly deals, you get the same amount of soul jades that you would pay for blanketly, but there's additions to them, be it Awaken Essence, be it Omni Shards, across the board. So never just buy soul jades by themselves, ever, ever, ever. Like I've talked about before, there's a few things you don't want to do in this game, and if you're gonna spend even a little, don't buy Soul Jades on their own, and never do the weekly recharges. It's a waste of money, and you're not even, and, and even if it's, take the waste of money out of the side, you're just not getting as much stuff. Go to the monthly. Go to the monthly or go to the limiteds, limiteds and see what's available. Monthly, is actually pretty fair and they do a pretty good job on that one across the board. So keep that in mind. You know, even me, I know everybody I hear everybody saying, oh, you spend so much, yada, yada, yada. Well, I do and I don't. I make sure what I get, I'm getting the most value for my buck when I spend it. I don't jump in and, and buy stupid things. 
So, well, I guess anybody could say playing a gotcha game is stupid, but that's my choice, just like yours. If you enjoy it, do whatever you want in life. But with that being said, just make sure you look around before you spend because you can usually get other things with it, and those are probably things you need. All right, I digress. Let's move on. Um, as well as, you know, everybody's probably aware in the custom packs, you know. Um, Oh, I forgot. They're already gone now. Okay. Well, the custom packs, you can, they're on the $49 ones and the $100 ones, there is an option for 10 um, Awaken Essence to be amongst the things you pick. Never do that with the $99 one if you're going to spend money. Do it with the $49 only. If you look closely at those custom packs, certain things change between $49 and $99, and certain things don't. And Awaken Essence is one of them. So why would you spend 99 if you can get it for 49 unless something that's also available in the custom pack on the higher end has something else you need? Again, I don't recommend it. They release it every two weeks. It's nothing special at this point anymore. So work around building up your resources daily by logging in and then if there's those rare circumstances, then you, if you decide to take advantage of it. I just never recommend just going all in, quite honestly. I've made that mistake in games before. I even made that mistake early on in this game, but I learned pretty quickly after about the first six weeks to really map out what's good and what's bad and stay away from those things that are bad. So, um, what else? Well, of course... There's, there's a ton of um, events. They drop periodically. So, you know, always check the limited time events. Um, always, you know, all the stuff they offer. If, if it's there, you know, make sure you're, you're doing your dailies and working towards through these events so you can get a chance at them. Because that's really the key. And I think, I hope everybody's hearing what I say in all these videos is... If you're playing the game just for fun and casually and you want to log in here and there, great. Perfect. But if you're kind of serious and you want to be competitive, all you got to do is log in daily and take advantage of building all these things up for the future. And that's where you really get, you know, can really build your account up. And let's be honest, this game doesn't take a lot of time daily, okay? I mean, you can be in and out of this game in, in less than an hour, and in some instances, much, much quicker. So, um, let's see, what else? Idle exploration, too. When you're doing idle exploration, guess what? You can have um, chests drop with Awaken Essence. So again, I completely want to keep stressing, log in daily, even a few times a day, it takes you one minute, log in, hit your idle exploration to claim it all so it doesn't and then boom you're out again and you know I, I don't see those drop as often as the omni chests in idle exploration but they do drop I, I had one drop for me I think it was last night or this morning so just you know that's always the key with games also too last but not least you know you got your your banners um, you know when when you're in the game under the reward section, if, if you're pulling on Soulbox, for instance, it usually drops an Awaken Essence on most pulls of 10. That's nice. Also, the rewards, a lot of time we'll have those with the banners they do. So again, you know, I'm not saying to do that just for your Awaken Essence, but when you're, when you're going to do something in the game, even if you're free to play, okay, um, just keep an eye on what's available because Maybe you're going, eh, I'm not so sure about this. But then when you see the reward section, go, oh, wow, I can make, I can do 20 pulls and I'm going to get these things, which I also need, then it's worth it. So just keep your eye on that um, to keep that in mind. Tech research, of course, you know, as you can see on the screen, they offer them. I don't recommend tech research. I think it is trash. It's a huge money grab. It's way overpriced. But if you're playing in Worlds, again, if you're if you're continually playing the game, you're going to win those tickets. Wait till you get 10. Boom, you'll probably get a couple of Awaken Essence on that pull alone. With that being said, I wanted to run this a little quicker than the Omni Shard one. 
Hope everybody's doing well. Like and subscribe as usual. Let's get to 3,000 and I'm gonna come up with a pretty cool giveaway, I think. And no, it won't be my account. With that being said, this is MassX and I'm out.